6th, 2019, meaning today is my five year anniversary on booktube. Just let that sink in because I still haven't, <laughs> like, I, I am speechless. I really can't believe it. I honestly can't believe that I've stuck with something for five years, like good on me. Um, so every year for my anniversary, I do a video and usually I bake something. Um, it depends what happens. It's just a celebration. So as you saw in the beginning, there was a montage of me making some red velvet cupcakes with an Oreo frosting. The recipe that I use will be down below. This reminds me of like Simon First to Home Savings Agenda. So if you want to make a cupcake inspired by that book, highly recommend. This is really good. Well, I mean, I guess I can't recommend yet because I haven't ate it. So I guess I need to eat it. Um, so cheers if you have like tea or you have like a snack or anything. Let's cheers really quick to the screen. Cheers to me being on booktube for five years and hopefully more and hopefully my channel will grow more. <laughs> so here we go. Cheers. Oh, look at that. I'm going to take the Oreo off just so it's not too much. But... Hmm. Yeah, that's pretty good. So today's video is the booktube real talk tag. This was created by Alyssa J. Her video will be linked down below and I was tagged by Emma Books. So I'll have Emma's video down below too. Thank you so much, Emma. And thank you to anyone that has subscribed recently from Emma's video. Let me know in the comments if you're here from Emma. Thank you, Emma, because that was awesome. Um, so hi, if you're new in here. Um, so I'm gonna go on and do the booktube real talk tag. This tag has been around booktube lately and I've been wanting to do it and I got tagged so that's what you do when you get tagged. So I'm going to be eating my cupcake and doing the booktube real talk tag. This is just all about my thoughts on booktube and I feel like since I've been on booktube for five years I'm basically like a veteran now so um I think that this is going to be a fun tag to do. So if you enjoy this video give it a thumbs up and let's get started. The first question is, what is something that nobody told you before you started your channel? And honestly, no one told me anything before I started my channel because I started my channel in 2014 when booktube was super new. I guess I wish somebody would have told me that like, I don't need every single book because I had been buying like everything I saw. Like I remember I'd just watch a video and be like, yes, I like this, I'm gonna buy it. And then like, I bought so many. There's a term that's been established and it's basically that like when you start booktube and just buy so many books. I forget what it's called but I'll have it up on the screen and I related to this so much. Like I just remember buying everything. Booksplosion was really popular. Like I guess it still is but like when it was like in its prime because it had I guess just started um and the like Kat, Christine, and Jesse were like the booktubers that I really knew of at the time. I just bought every book that they were reading and it happened to be contemporary. Um, so I really do wish that somebody would have been like, hey, you don't need all of these books because now I just have too many and I'm just looking at my bookshelf and it's haunting me. <laughs> I've been just doing an on haul of like a lot of books that like I don't need or I'm not gonna read again just to like make more room. So yeah. So if anyone is going to make a booktube channel or they're new to booktube or just on booktube in general, you don't need every book. The library is a thing, um, but I'm not going to tell you like not to buy books. Next is what's your opinion on typical booktube videos, which is like wrap ups or book hauls. There are tons of genres and categories in YouTube, like beauty, they have like their whole set of videos, um, like their I don't know. I don't watch beauty, so I don't know. Um, but I just know there's so many categories. Like there's like the horror, like they do special things. So I feel like every part of YouTube just has their thing. So like we have our thing, like we wouldn't be booktube unless we had wrap ups and book hauls. Um, so I don't really see a problem with them. I don't know why people have a problem with them. Book hauls do pretty good views wise. So <laughs> I mean, YouTube is all about views and subscribers, so honestly, whatever you think does well and like whatever you enjoy making, do it. 
there are some channels that just just some people make really good reviews so I like watching the wrap-ups like um people I just like hearing what people bought and like why and just I think at the end of the day booktube is all about books and <laughs> recommending books and just talking about books so honestly I feel like the only requirement of booktube is to talk about books so I don't know like I don't really see the problem with it um I have a lot of like my own opinions about like creative content and stuff but there might be a question about that so just gonna end this question here the next question is what is an assumption you had about booktube before you joined was it proven correct or not I don't even know what assumptions I had like honestly it's been so long <laughs> that I don't know I guess like because I've heard other people say like oh you make friends easily like um but I don't know because like I was in the prime of booktube where like it was a thing where like you had to reach out to people to request arcs and like I don't know like I always say 2014 booktube was way different and honestly I kind of miss it. I don't know if I had like any assumptions I guess just like maybe like I don't even know because before I started booktube like I had like a youtube channel so like I knew how YouTube worked and like how to edit and how to film and stuff like that even though most of my videos are blurry. Um, I don't know. I don't- I guess I didn't really have an assumption unless I just had like a, an assumption that like I was gonna be friends with everybody which actually ended up happening so like I don't know. Like honestly Emma was one of my first book two friends or like one of the few um, and like we're still friends so like she still shouts out my channel and all of that stuff so like I guess I don't know I guess I didn't have an assumption next question the next question is what is something you've done to help grow your audience I guess like just having like creative content has actually been like my life hack videos that I did a while back my kindle life hack video was one of my most viewed videos and 83 percent of people that watch me don't subscribe so if you're not subscribed, literally hit the freaking subscribe button right now. It's not that hard. If you like my videos enough to watch them, why don't you just subscribe? It's just that easy. 20% of people that are subscribed to me watch my videos. And you know how much that hurts? It hurts a lot. So please subscribe right now and watch all of my videos. Just had a plug right there because that has been irritating me lately um but I guess like my life hack videos and my creative videos I've been thinking about a lot of creative videos that I'm going to have in the works one I'm currently filming and then another I have to currently film like I'm just in the process of a lot of things so yeah I guess just my creative content and when other people shout me out so um yeah subscribe <laughs> Put on the notifications. Not that hard. Not that hard to watch the whole video. Did you know that only like most of my audience, my watch time is like two minutes? Yeah, two minutes. Yet I've been here for five years. So I guess my content isn't fun to watch. I don't really know. I'm kind of having a mental breakdown. That's why. Just having like a booktube existential crisis, booktube crisis something. Next is what is a common mistake that you see other booktubers doing or one that you've done? For this question, I just want to say that I, I like when I click on a video and I like the title and then I watch it and just the audio isn't good or like I have to just like put my volume up super high and I can't hear what the person's saying. Um, so I guess like that's kind of a common mistake. <laughs> Just in general, a common mistake is that no one comments on each other's videos anymore. Um, like some, but like not all. And that upsets me. <laughs> I comment on the majority of videos. Like I feel like I'm kind of like that too. Like I don't comment enough. Um, but when I, like I try to, um, I guess it's just like audio and stuff like just little things like the whole like not looking at the camera thing doesn't bother me, just the audio. Like if your audio isn't good and I can't hear what you're saying, then I gotta go. Like I have to exit and can't give you the full watch time. 
sorry. Next is what are your thoughts on working with publishers and sponsorships? YouTube is a business. When you start a YouTube channel, you're starting a business. So I don't really see the big deal. I don't know why people get upset about it. If people like want to work with them, like, I don't know, like, it's just all business. So I don't have a problem. And the last question is, do you think booktube is dying? Absolutely not. It's growing so much. Like I've been here since 2014 and just seeing how much it's grown is wild to me. And um, yeah, it's definitely not dying. And last is to tag your friends. And I'm actually gonna do what Emma did is put smaller booktubers down in the description. So go over to my description right now, pause this video, and subscribe to them because I highly recommend them. So first I have Hannah from Snow White Reader. I love her, all of her videos are creative and I just love how much effort she puts into them. Um, she put, her latest video is letting librarians pick my TBR, which I really loved. Um, she just has so many good videos. Like I just love watching her. So I highly recommend her channel. Next is one of my good friends, Becca with a book. Becca is, trying to get to 900 subscribers and to a thousand subscribers this year. So highly recommend to go over to her channel. She has a lot of good discussions and reviews. I just love the way she reviews and discusses. So I highly recommend to go over to her channel and listen to some of her discussions. Next is Melissa at The Bookish Babbler. I just love her and she's amazing and she's been shouting out booktubers. She has like a whole series that's going on. So if you want to know about more booktubers, highly recommend to go over to her channel. And just go and subscribe to her in general because she's really awesome. The next channel is Anna at It's My Birthright. I love her channel and she doesn't read the same books as me, but I just love her channel. Like she has really good videos. She has come book shopping with me, um, which inspired my video. A lot of her videos inspire my videos. So. so I highly recommend to go over to her channel. She also has done this tag so you can go watch her video and hear her opinions. And the last channel is Hannah at Tiny Book Dragon. She is always creating new things. May it be a readathon or a book club or a read along. Like she's just always doing so many things and I love her channel. Highly recommend to go over there. I feel like she doesn't get enough credit and she's just always putting things into the community. So highly recommend. So everyone will be down below. And at last I'm gonna tag my friends, Becca, Gwen, and Chloe. So that was my video. I hope you guys all enjoyed it. Thank you for five years on booktube. Thank you for subscribing, watching, commenting, anything like that because it really keeps me going. Um, I have so many great videos coming up so hit the notifications to be notified every time I post a video and hit subscribe if you haven't. Also I have a Patreon so if you enjoy my content and you want more I'm gonna be putting bloopers there, extra videos so a lot of things are going to be going on there. So if you do like my channel enough to support me, that would be amazing. Hope you guys are all having a great day and I'll see you next time. Bye. I'm editing the video right now. And before I go, I forgot to shout out the person from last week's video. I said in last week's video that I would start doing shout outs. And so if you commented, I would shout you out. So thank you to Book Sniffing Girl for commenting on my last video. Um, I'm glad that you are enjoying my videos and if you guys want a shout out in the next video, turn my post notifications on. Let me know in the comments that you have my notifications on and I will shout you out in the next video and just watch the whole video, comment something about the video and I will shout you out. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.